Welcome artists, it's Kaylee Bird, and I am so excited to share with you today the winners from my fantastic Autumn Paintings in Gouache poll that I conducted here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Hopefully you saw my short or my stories pop up or my reels or a post somewhere and saw this awesome poll that you could vote on. I had five different photos. I took on a beautiful autumn hike and I got you guys to vote on your top two and then I said I would paint them in gouache in my brand new cute little sketchbook. So today I am sharing with you those two autumn paintings. Thanks. If you remember the photos that I shared with you all, then you probably know exactly which this one is, seeing those little heart-shaped leaves right in the very front. This one definitely, I think, stood head and shoulders above the rest, and you guys thought so too, with a full 48% of the vote going to, drumroll please, drrr, number three, fully half. Just about everybody who voted, voted for this one, and then another one. And I will get to number two, and I'll go ahead and let you know what numbers three, four, and five were two, just in case you were curious to see where you were. But yeah, 48% of the vote voted for number three, which I can't blame them. This was certainly one of my favorites. I mean, that blue water, like, I don't know what it is in Tennessee because, you know, it's not like we're close to the shore. This is not tropical areas or anything, but I swear I will go on hikes and there will be like sapphire blue or like this really beautiful, deep, rich, like emerald green almost, but it's like a, like a light. It's like almost like tropical. Like, yeah, it's unbelievable. Sometimes it looks very, very light. Sometimes it's like these jewel tones, but I, maybe it's the mineral rich water around here because I know that there are a lot of minerals in the water here. Not like dangerous, like you can go swimming and stuff like that, but like there's just mineral rich water around here. Maybe that's what it is, but yeah, these intense colors, it's really fun. It's like a really nice surprise to come up on something that's like this brilliant blue or green in the middle of, you know, the forest in Tennessee. <laughs> Not expecting it, but definitely loving it. So for today's video, I'm actually mostly going to be playing just some nice, really yummy, sort of fall, cozy, autumn feeling music today, which you hopefully are already enjoying a bit of. Um, just to kind of put you in that that nice mood. Um, but before I just kind of let some yummy jams play, I just wanted to say two things. One, um, if you are not already, you should definitely be subscribed here and doing the notification bell so that you actually get like my polls and things that I put out in the shorts and stuff like that. And, or, you know, both if you wanna, um, be subscribed or be following me on Instagram because I had such a good response to putting out this poll like I really could not believe how many people responded I was just just tickled pink that so many people had a great time picking this so I will definitely absolutely be doing this again definitely with some landscapes maybe even with like a major painting or two or something like that but seriously getting y'all's um, response was really really super fun so if you are not already definitely click that subscribe button here ding the bell and head over to my Instagram after this video and make sure that you are checking in over there because yeah, this was a lot of fun, definitely for me and I could tell it was for you guys too. So thank you so much for contributing and doing this awesome project with me. It's like a collaboration with all my little chickadees. I love it. And the other thing I wanted to mention is, are you guys interested in like any sort of how to paint with gouache um, sort of videos like tutorials, gouache tutorials, maybe a gouache, specifically gouache landscape tutorial since that's really what I've been practicing. It's not like I've been practicing my figures or anything in gouache. Are you guys interested in something like that? I did have a couple requests for that like, I don't know, maybe like two years ago or a year and a half ago or something when I first started painting in gouache and I just did not feel like I was ready to teach anyone then because I was literally just barely learning and just kind of winging it myself. Um, so if that's something that you would be interested in, 
I mean, honestly, I feel like a lot of what I do in gouache is just sort of like strategic sort of dabbing, <laughs> you know, like I really don't blend them. I just kind of put color side by side and almost more like a sort of tight knit impressionist artist. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in a little how-to tutorial and more about gouache, I definitely feel much more confident now, um, especially after these two paintings. I can't wait till you'll see to the end. They really turned out very well. Yay! Um, <laughs> but I feel a lot more confident now. So if you are interested in something like that, go ahead and drop me a little comment down below. And um, I, I'll be very, very open to uh, actually sitting down and thinking about how best to, you know, phrase what it is that I do because I've sort of figured out gouache kind of just on my own just by sort of trying a few different methods and kind of looking at some other people's paintings and, you know, I really haven't watched too many tutorials or certainly no one has really sat down with me with gouache. Um, so I am kind of self-taught, but, uh, but I could, you know, try to put into words what I'm doing over here. Um, like I said, a, a well-placed dab seems to really go far for me <laughs> in gouache paint. So anyways, drop me a comment if you would like me to do a little tutorial on that. Oh my gosh, I am so glad how the first one turned out. I'm not joking, I was definitely a little bit nervous taking on really both of these um, assignments, but honestly, I will have to say this one, number two, which is, drum roll please, was number four. Number four with 28% of the vote. Woo! -woo. So this one, actually, I was even more nervous about painting, so I was like, I'm going to practice on the other one with the blue water and hopefully build up my skills being able to, you know, differentiate between the these um, layers that look very, very similar to each other, um, especially at such a small dabbing, you know, scale. Um, so I did the first one to kind of practice to do this one, um, but I'm really psyched about this one. Honestly, this one, I was kind of hoping people would choose because I was up, you know, I wanted a challenge. Um, I really thought that if I could make this painting that's like all yellow, turn out and actually be readable, then I can feel pretty good about any landscape in the future. Now, of course, I decided to kind of crank up the saturation as far as like the intensity of every variety of color so that it literally didn't look like just one giant yellow dabby mess. Um, but you know, I think I was able to stay pretty true to form true to the original. Like, I don't think that I really changed it in any way that was like, you know, trying to cheat, get out of all the yellow. Um, but as promised, um, the third place actually winners were number four one and number five they both had 24 percent of the votes so actually two of them were tied for third place and i thought it was kind of funny because last place had only two percent of the votes so basically nobody voted for number two and i can kind of understand because although i think that the patchwork in the trees the color you know that beautiful colorful patchwork in the trees is really nice i kind of think that the view was a little bit too far away and that you really didn't get a nice um 
feeling of depth of field. Everything was just kind of very small, whereas in all the other ones, there was something to kind of feel up close and something to feel far away, giving a nice sense of distance, you know, maybe some aerial perspective or whatnot, just to kind of give it more of an expansive feel. So anyways, um, enjoy the rest of this painting. I really, I'm, I'm just like beyond myself that <laughs> I was able to make this work. It, it definitely takes longer than it looks from these videos, but you know, patience is a good thing. And luckily gouache dries really fast. So, you know, when things dry fast, you're able to layer pretty well. And if you're a Tennessee hiker like me, you may be curious. These are all images from around the Duck River area, which empties into Normandy Lake. And I was hiking around the Old Stone Fort State Archaeological Park. They have a couple of miles of, you know, some pretty nice hikes there. It's nice. You got a little up and down, get a little bit of that calf burn. So yeah, I would recommend. Um, I love the app All Trails for helping find hikes. So if you use that app too, check out Old Stone Fort State Archaeological Park.
it really was quite a challenge making sure that all these trees read out like they were very far away and then coming to the front i think having this main tree up front really helped because sort of like the repeating shapes and colors helped to sort of discern what the background was so i know i'm not quite done yet here but i was feeling pretty confident at this point that i was really going to make something fun so definitely after the video you guys let me know how i did what do you think in the comments which one is your favorite out of the two paintings Hope you enjoyed watching these two little autumn paintings come to life today. Thanks again for contributing and if you didn't know about the audience poll, make sure you are tuned in here and on my Instagram for the next time I do an audience choice painting. Sure was a lot of fun today. Now check out this playlist on screen to see some other wonderful gouache landscapes I did in places like Yucatan, Mexico, and Oahu, Hawaii, and even a cozy little winter day painting to go along with the autumn ones. Thanks for being here today, folks. Can't wait to see you in the next video.